Security is mostly superstition. It does not exist in nature, nor do the children of men as a whole experience it. Avoiding danger is no safer in the long run than outright exposure. Life is either a daring adventure or nothing. And that's by Helen Keller. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we will be doing something a little bit different. Um, it'll be more of like a chit chat, kind of like we're getting a little personal today. And I figured since a new year, we'll be approaching very shortly. Like the time is going, y'all. So in the spirit of the new year approaching, I figured that I would do a video of me talking about some of the things that I will be letting go in 2023. I came across this video from another YouTuber. Um, her name is Brie Renee, straight from the A. I'm not too sure if you guys are familiar with her, but I love her content. And she just did a video like this re recently and it inspired me to do my own. There's no greater way to become a better self than self-reflection and to make sure you're putting into place and in action of what it is that you want to do to become a better person. We have to stay growing, y'all. We can't be stagnant and we can't be one of those people that's just like, well, that's just how I am. Like, we're not doing any of that in the new year coming. We're striving to be better people and to be successful and to have all of the good things that God wants all of us to have. So if you're interested in seeing some of the things that I will be letting go in 2023, then keep on watching. Like I mentioned, a new year is vastly approaching. Like by the time we quint, it's a whole new year. As everyone's approaching, trying to do their vision board, their prayer boards, like this is the perfect time to self-reflect and to think of goals and ideas and things that we would like to accomplish in the new year coming. And so prior to me doing that, I figured I would Think of something I want to let go in 2023. I was able to come up with six different things. So I'm just gonna, you know, let you tell y'all what they are and then give a little bit of like, you know, detail or whatever into it. So we're getting super personal today, okay? Which is not like me. Um, I'm very private, very, very private for the most part. Like what I show is like on social media and on TikTok and stuff are things that I don't mind showing obviously but in terms of like my relationships and like other things I like to keep that super duper private so we're letting go of a layer today <laughs> and I'm gonna kind of be a little bit vulnerable and um let you guys know about some of the things that I have been doing not only in 2023 but like in prior years that now it's like I can't keep doing this like girl let's let's switch it up okay you've been doing the same thing and getting no results or little to no results so we are we're just gonna cut some of these things out so let's get started number one my procrastination we are letting go of procrastination I have been doing this for ever. To be very honest, my procrastination um, got truly worse in college and has not gotten any better since I've graduated college. Um, I don't know why <laughs> that is or where I got this from. I guess because I've been telling myself this excuse that I work better under pressure and so I know like things, you know, obviously got to get done. And so 
when it's time or when it's like the day before a deadline or whatever it is, I always wait until the last minute to do it because I know for one, I'm gonna get it done, but then I'm also creating more stress for myself. And it's like, girl, there's a whole bunch of stuff in this world that stresses you out. Why are you self-inflecting stress on yourself? Like, just get it done. Give yourself a timeline, a deadline. Like, there's a whole bunch of things you can do to utilize to help yourself to not procrastinate. I went out and I bought myself a planner to help me not procrastinate things. And yet and still, <laughs> I don't use the planner. And I'm still procrastinating. And I feel like to be a better self in 2024, like procrastination cannot be one of those things. I need to be a timely person, okay? I'm damn near late to every single thing, an event, work, everything, appointments. I'm late to everything. And that is not good. By me being late and not on time and waiting until the last minute to do things, that not only affects me, but also the other person. And it's like, in hindsight, I know that, but when it comes down to it, it's not getting any better. Like, I'm still doing it. So it's like, girl, we got to stop that. Like, other people's time is just as valuable as yours. And with also procrastinating, you don't leave time for error, right? Like, I never take into consideration, like, what if this happens like i'm always thinking of oh no it's just gonna it's gonna get done but it's also like what if other things happen like girl what if when you leave there's traffic an accident happens now five ten minutes added on to your eta and now you're late we definitely gotta work on that time thing y'all we gotta work on the time and we gotta work on the, on the procrastination i was able to combine the two in one but they both is an issue and we both got and we, they both got to get worked on for the new year. It's it's becoming a little annoying now. My I'm tired of it myself. So yeah, no, let that go. We're gonna leave that at the 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 the, the wayside. The the we gotta leave that. We gotta leave it. We can't bring it with us in this new year while we're trying to get better. Okay, number two, doubting myself. I struggle with this so much. It's not even funny. I legit, and all of my friends can attest to this, second guess everything. Everything. Okay? I second guess everything before I do something, before I deep dive into something whatever that is a new venture a new opportunity whatever it is i'm always second guessing it and i always thought that it was me being like you know just a realistic person like always thinking like but what if this happens what if this happens what if this happens what if this happens but then it's also like girl like stop and just do it i always beat myself up about it because it's this has always been the thing that i say i want to work on in the new year and every year i do get a little bit better but i'm still not taking the risk like i'm just always second guessing it like i always doubt myself on whether whatever it is that I want to do, will it be good? Will people like it? Like, will, will I enjoy it? Is this actually a good idea? Like, what will people think? I'm always thinking of what ifs. And sometimes it's like, F it. Just do it. And it's crazy because I never think about like, I always think when I doubt myself, I always think of all of the negative. I never think about like, girl, what if you do it and it's great? What if you do it and it's success and it's and it's successful? What if you do it and people love it? People love you. Like people like what if you do it and it's just a good thing? Like something good actually happens. Like what if you do that? 
these are the things that I know, like I know, I just know, but it's like, why am I just not doing it? <laughs> I know the, t the potential that I have and how successful I can be, but I am my biggest critic and my worst enemy. Sometimes it's just best to just have a plan A, stick to plan A, and make plan A work. Number three, being complacent and stagnant. And that also ties into me doubting myself. Obviously, because I, I'm self-doubting and I don't take many risks in life, I will always be in the same position. Because as I'm sitting here thinking that I'm thinking of a master plan to do something before I take a risk, I'm just sitting in one spot, not moving, while my counterparts, my peers, my friends, everyone is like elevating and like doing these big things with their lives. I'm sitting here trying to figure out, well, if I do this and this doesn't happen or this happens or whatever the case may be, I'm not moving. Nobody else obviously can break, like, I don't, like, no one's going to take my hand and say, come Monique, let me show you exactly, you know, where to go, how to do it. Like, I need to be able to take risk and stop doubting myself. So those two things go hand in hand and the both of them gotta stay in 2023. <laughs> Number four, not putting enough energy into myself. Ciao. I am able to give my 110% all of my energy, everything and more into my nine to five job. Granted, yes, I do like benefit from it because obviously me showing up to work, doing what I need to do, I get a paycheck every two weeks at the end of that. But it's like, I go above and beyond sometimes. Sometimes... To the point where my manager's like, girl, you don't have to do all of that. Like, like let somebody else do it, you know? And I don't do that with myself. And it, and I always make it an excuse is like, well, you know, I'm really tired from work and, you know, doing all of these things, being a part-time mama to my little sister. <laughs> you know, like I'm, I'm tired from doing everything else for other people. And I don't put that energy into myself to make myself be a better person or to make myself more successful. A perfect example is this YouTube journey. I have been saying for the longest that I'm going to create and do a YouTube channel. Okay, I put that on my vision board last year. I did it this year. I created the YouTube channel, was being consistent with posting videos in the beginning and then as the year went on, I slacked off. Like there was a time, two, three months went by and ain't no video. It's like, I'm tired. <laughs> like, I don't have the energy to do a nine to five, come home, shower, and either edit a video or record one. I don't have the energy. But it's also like, girl, if you wanna really take this YouTube thing seriously, and you wanna be successful in this YouTube space or in any content creating space, you need to be able to put the same amount of energy you put into your nine to five where you go above and beyond for into yourself, into your social media, into your content creation, into your YouTube channels. Like I need to put that same energy into all of those things. Because ultimately, for me to be successful in those spaces, I need to be consistent. And if I don't have the energy to actually create content and then edit and post, I'm not being consistent. I'm posting every once in a while. And so I'm, I'm very happy that I did create this channel because once again, it was something that I always doubted myself on. Like, who, who's going to follow me? Who's going to see me and be like, oh, I like her. Let me let me subscribe to her channel or like and comment. Like, who's going to do that? And I kept procrastinating. I kept doubting myself about it. Ultimately, I decided to just say F it and just take the step. 
but it's also like I'm not being consistent in this space either. So to keep growing and to be and to keep being successful in this space, I have to be consistent. No one's going to water this flower as in yourself than you. Number five, taking care of myself from speaking mentally and health wise. I've been saying like I want to sign up for therapy for a very long time and I have yet to do it. I don't know what exactly is the reason as to why I haven't done it. Um, at least I'm making it in my head like there's no reason besides the fact that I just haven't signed up. But I do think there is a reason that I haven't done it. It could be a subconscious thing. Like, obviously, like I said, I like to be very private. I like to deal with a lot of my things that goes on in my life, my issues, my problems, whatever it is that's happening. Trauma, I like for it to be very 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 private it's very rare i even talk to friends about certain things that i go through because like i hate crying in front of other people i hate showing any type of like raw emotion in front of other people like i'd rather sit in my room in the dark by myself and cry than ever talk to anybody about it so yeah i definitely want to do that i've been saying like yeah i'm gonna sign up for therapy yeah i'm gonna sign up for therapy yeah i'm gonna sign up for therapy and just i just never did it it's like i i, I don't know why i i mean i do know i don't know y'all i'm clearly all over the place which is probably why i need a therapist okay i think the main reason why is because being vulnerable in front of other people is just very like cringy to me i hate it that is that is an issue like the fact that i'm not able to do that is obviously an issue and so i do need to sign up for therapy hopefully i leave that mentality in 2023 so that in 2024 i'm signed up okay and with taking care of myself mentally i also have to take care of myself health wise and that includes going to the gym taking my vitamins drinking more water being more health conscious like i need to start doing those things so that i can not only look better but feel better i definitely need to do that every year y'all know every year our new year's resolution is to lose some weight or to go to the gym and be more active and the same way y'all been putting it on your vision board or your new year's resolution list every year that is me every year and i will start off as the most gym freak i'll go to the gym about three times a week and i'll do that for two months straight no issues and then something happens i don't get to go if i'm going three days out of the week and something happens and i don't get to go for one day out the week now that i done threw off the rest of the week i ain't now i ain't going to the gym that, at, at all that week then the next week is like damn i kind of like messed up already so let me just start again it's like every time it's something it's very much something okay and i need to stop doing that girl get your behind up and go to the gym you know what's not healthy stop eating it that's another thing too i need to become more disciplined stop being so like wishy-washy like girl you know what you want to look like how you want to feel you know this so start doing the things to make you get there taking my vitamins has been the biggest thing it's like not only are you eating unhealthy and you are not being active or going to the gym but you're also sitting here eating junk like the audacity of you the audacity of you girl like let's be if we're gonna be anything let's be for real you are doing all of these things unhealthy not exercising and then you have the audacity to also not take your vitamins and provide yourself with the proper nutrients and things that you need for your body to function properly girl listen 
like we gotta let go of that in 2023 we have to let go of that in 2023 so hope i'm praying in the new year and i'm actually i'm not even gonna say it like that in the new year because we're gonna talk it into existence we are going to be more health conscious so i have to be super consistent with taking my vitamins like we're gonna start there at least take vitamins if you ain't gonna do nothing else at least start there and finally number six stop talking and start doing that's that's it that's the post Th that's the statement that's it N nothing furthermore that's it girl yeah you stop talking and start doing yeah you me yes yes you right there i love that i've created this list and i've come up with things and you know did some self-reflection and i'm able to identify some of my issues and some of the things that are like holding me back from being this you know better person or this ideal person that i want to be in my head but it also you also need to start putting some shit into action all of this is great all of this like me talking about it me identifying it all of these things are great but now let's really see how you truly feel when you start doing shit and it's the same thing you know like when we into it with our man or whatever and you know he just doing all that talking he just talking 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 telling him telling you he's sorry he gonna do better he gonna do better he gonna do this he gonna do that da -da -da -da, whatever and you're like okay all of that is great thank you for being self-aware and acknowledging that you ain't shit but if you're really trying to be better start putting some stuff into action start putting them words that you were saying your sorries and i miss you's and i love you and i'm gonna do this and i'm gonna do that start putting all of that into action i hope some of these things resonate with y'all and but we got to start doing some stuff. We got to start putting some stuff into action. I'm so happy that I was able to do this. And I'm so excited. And I cannot wait to see what the new year holds for me. Obviously, I hope it's bigger and better things. And yeah. So this is the end of today's video. Again, shout out to my girl, Brie Renee, straight from the A for this idea, this, this inspo of a video. And so I really hope that this upcoming year brings you guys more wealth, more health, more prosperity, like all of the things that you guys aspire to want to do or be like, I truly hope that in this new, in this upcoming new year, you guys are able to achieve all of that. I wish everyone nothing but the best. I want to see everybody win. I love you guys so much for supporting me. It's it's literally about to be a year. I started, I posted my first YouTube video um, March, I believe, of this year. And so we're very much approaching our one year anniversary. And... The fact that I have 346 subscribers, I didn't think 346 people liked me that much. I'm very grateful for y'all. I'm super thankful. I liter literally, I'm so appreciative and I love you guys so much. You guys like and comment on my things. <sighs> y'all have my heart. So thank you guys so much again for watching and until next time bye